groom and clippers to her and just going to remove the extra hair so it's not in the way. And you'll want the hair off around the nipples anyway right after she has the baby so. Piper's a standard size party poodle. Um, she's bred to our registered and she's also AKC registered. She's bred to our AKC registered brown party poodle. She should be having puppies. Expected due date is July 28th. So, about a week and a half. So, I have my equipment set out. We've already shaved her so that we don't have extra hair between the ultrasound gel stuff and the probe so that we can get a good view. So I have a very nice program that lets me ultrasound and see and then I have my own home ultrasound. we can already see there's the spinal column of a puppy below it is another cross-section of a belly to kind of lay all over the place so there's another belly there's a spinal column of a puppy so in this view we can see one two three puppies right there Another view of the same. So there is a spinal column of the puppy. This is a cross section of the belly. Kind of scanning over. You can see just outside of it, there's another puppy. Yeah, wiggling around. Puppy, you can see him moving just like you would a baby. Puppy, oh, there's a puppy's heartbeat. See its heart going. So right there you can see the heartbeat of a puppy. See that's a cross section and then we kind of pan up and pan down. There's his little heartbeat. It's the same little puppy. So we're looking like we're going up through his body. So if I would keep going upwards, there's a little head. You would want to kick around and move some. So that's one puppy. And you can kind of see in this very picture, you got one, two, three, four puppies laying there. You see a puppy right there. This is his backbone on that one. Yeah, mama. Oh, you want to lay all over some more? There you go. Good girl. So I think we have at least eight puppies so far that I've counted definitively. It's all the way up here. That's probably number nine. Let's see, see another little puppy. There's another little puppy heartbeat over here. That's probably puppy number 10. Yeah. Going back kind of right there and there's yet another one. And then as we start scanning down, it starts getting wider. So we're all the way up here. That's kind of how we're telling. You can see the uterus is pretty big. So kind of goes from there all the way up here. And you got a little puppy on top of puppy going on. Because you think there's not a whole lot of room in there. So I think there's at least 10. It's not the easiest method, especially with her being about a week to 10 days out. Um, but it kind of gives you a good idea. Obviously they're doing well. You can see the spinal columns and the different puppies. 
There's yet another heartbeat. I can see heartbeats in most everything. It's hard to tell exactly whether you've double counted something, but I mean, I've done quite a bit of ultrasound work and look in, and I would say there's at least 10. She might have 11 or 12, but I think we're looking at a litter of 10. So, and you can see the little puppies, they're moving. It's a little leg pal. You can see little puppy leg there, little puppy leg there. There's a neighbor kind of kicking out and around. There's another heartbeat. You can really see the hearts in the little puppies. All the little chambers moving like they're supposed to be. Like I said, her official due date is supposed to be July 28th. We'll kind of wait and see. The nice thing is, is we pretty well know when the, the first time they were together. So she did have a couple breed dates later, so it could be a little bit later. It could be as late as like the second or third of August, um, depending on which one she actually ovulated with and settled. You can see a heartbeat there. You can see a heartbeat right there. And that one also. So they're all being active. Oh, that's little puppy feet. See? You can literally see its head rolling and its little leg. Which puppy is going to be yours? If you're interested, you can reach out to us on Facebook or at MD Triple Creek Ranch at gmail.com. Um, we hope to catch her having the puppies, and you could even watch your puppy being born. So, I guess it kind of depends on how it comes when she gets her day, but she, we managed to catch all the other two, two litters, so hopefully we see another one, and you will too. Have a good day.